Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Pauline and this is Thought Palace Studios. Uh, for today's tutorial, we're going to be doing meditation drawing. Um, so all you need today is a ink pen, a sketchbook, uh, some relaxing music, and either water, coffee, or tea, uh, whatever your preference is. And if you guys are all set, I'm going to show you some meditation drawings that I've done in the past and then we're going to get started. So if you're all set, let's go. Here are some of my meditation drawings that I have in my sketchbook. Um, they range from very simple basic line curve drawings and they go anywhere from circular to very extremely intricate drawings. It depends on the length of my meditation. Um, they go from anywhere from 5 minutes to 10 minutes um, depending on um, how much I want to put into my meditation. Um, these are real circular, some are very, um, like I said, intricate. Some are very simple, like this little simple um, message to trees meditation drawing that I did. Um, there's no plan to any of these drawings. Um, this is very intricate, this one. It's just basically whatever comes to my mind or I thought, and that's what I put onto paper. So, and now we're just gonna go right to our meditation drawing. Um, this is my sketchbook. I'm going to use Micron pens. Um, you don't have to use Micron pens if you don't want to. For this particular one, I'm going to. It's what I feel comfortable using. Um, Micron pens, they have these little numbers on the top. It depends on the thickness of the pen. Um, it goes from the really thin point to the very thickest point. Um, you can get these at any store if you like to, all the way from Michaels to Walmart, or you can order them online as well. Um, it's just my preference that I'm going to use today. You can use any type of ink pen or any black ballpoint pen is fine. Um, I have a sketchbook that I'm using today. Um, this is the one I'm using. And once again, you can pick this up at any store. Like I said, Michaels or Walmart or any, um, you can go do that online. I'm going to set this up and have my pen with me, my paper. I have my music on and I'm going to start. And once again, when you do your meditation drawing, um, there's just you're doing this with no thought process. You're just going to make marks on paper is what I like to call it. And it's a really basic, uh, easy way of just kind of relaxing your thought. Think of it as a way of back in childhood where you're just making marks on paper and just having fun kind of doodling down any type of curve, any type of line without any thought. And you're really relaxing. That's what it, the purpose of a sketchbook really is. It's just to kind of, you're making marks on paper and that's where you get your best ideas from. And this type of technique um, also comes from an artist called Wassily Kandinsky. He was a painter and an art theorist, as well as an abstract artist. And he had ideas of music appearing everywhere in Kandinsky's, Kandinsky's paintings. He even wrote the, theoretical work on the spiritual in art and the emotion that music had on art and painting. And you will see this in many of his later works. And here are some little markings that I'm making on my paper. And as you're meditating on your drawing, just a little at a time, just making those marks in those little papers, just those little dots, those little dashes, those little curves. And at first it doesn't really make sense because we're so, when we're drawing, we're so, want to know the result, the end result of what we're doing. We're not really focused on the process. We're not focused on the in-between. And we really need to focus on the in-between of how, the journey and how we're getting there. Let's focus on the journey. Let's take our time and that thought. Like I said, I'm just making that process. Just taking that time just to relax. And most of the time when I'm doing these meditation drawings, a really nice piece of artwork does come out in the end. It's a very relaxing moment when you don't give much thought to something. Something amazing happens in that journey. Just relaxing. And I will post that link of Wassily Kandinsky's artwork so you can take a look at that as well if you want to, if you so wish to look up his work. It's very interesting to see his theory on music and art and sound and how he created his paintings with just listening to music. I really do hope you enjoy this little bit of meditation drawing and I hope you do try this. 
And if you do so, please um, go to my Facebook page for Thought Palette and, and post your drawings on there. I would love to see them as well. Or on my Instagram page, you can post them there as well. Just kind of go back to your own childhood, but you could do little sketches here and there. And when you feel you are done, you don't have to fill in a whole page. If you feel like you just want to fill just a little bit of the page, that's okay too. There's no set rules to meditation drawing. You can do as you wish. And voila, I believe we are all done. And just like that. And I hope you enjoy um, this little meditation drawing with me. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope um, I inspired your creativity or sparked uh, some motivation in you to be creative. And any questions, please post them in the comments below. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, come swing by my Etsy shop if you so wish to. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you so wish to, if you have not already. Thank you for joining me today um, once again. And as always, with creativity and imagination, there are possibilities. So until next thought, until I see you again next week, have a good day. Bye, guys.